Okay, cellos. This is our training video for Legend. Now, first thing we always look at is our key signature, and that's uh, in this piece is no sharps and flats, so it looks like we're in the key of C major. Now, I want to kind of hesitate there. That's, that's the key signature, but if you look really closely, we've got a number of B flats, uh, and we've got a number of D flats, okay, coming up, so be aware of that. Now, one thing in particular, and if you, as you look at the first four lines of legend, okay, and this is an exciting, fun piece, you've got a pattern here where you've got to do a lot of D flats, you've got C's, and you've got B flats, okay? So, I think if we just take and shift to that B flat first finger, second position, then we've got C, D, it's a plain easy D flat, C, B flat, okay? I think that's going to be so easy for you and work really well. At measure 18, you also have some uh, eighth note marks there, but it's an abbreviation. So if you look at that, and you'll see the little down-ups, and it says simile. So they want you to do each of those notes, all the rest of the piece, in a similar way. Okay, in the same way. So there you're going to be going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then in 21, where you see the bracket over the right beside the G and the C string, you're going to play both the G and the C as one note. Okay, down at 37, that's a tremolo, okay, on the D, a tremolo, not a single eighth note. And um, you're going to see some up-up bows there at 44, okay, different places coming along here. Um, the basses will take the lower note at 59, unless we need to beef up that sound, and I may have some of you play that bottom note there where there's two. At 72, our tempo is going to slow down. You're going to hear the first violins and the, and the seconds and the violas playing kind of a slower, easier, softer. At the beginning, it's kind of a forceful, strong uh, melody, kind of a groove that we get into. And then at 80, it's more legato, Okay, it kind of slows down, especially there at 70 and 71. Okay, so there's some pizzicatoing coming back and forth, so be aware of that, like at 100. Okay, and at 120. Then when we get to the end of 129, okay, at 129, it goes right back immediately, okay, into that second position at 43, measure 43 is the signal, the sign, rest. It takes right off, continues right back there. Then when we get to 53, coming at 53, immediately to 130, okay? So that's how you get to the coda. At 134, look at that, Tuta Forza. Okay, so right there, really relaxed wrist, just jiggling like a tremolo there with an accent. Okay, on each of those notes. And watch your bowing now on the very last two measures. Okay, so you have another shift right there. Another down. That down bow in 146 is going to be wanting to be an up bow, but you make it down so you can go and then hit that last note, okay, for that triple stop. Okay, so here we go. This is Legend. Now, I'm going to be going kind of slow, okay, because we're just going to get this under our fingers, but it's going to be fast and energetic. So here we go. Cello part for Legend. One and two and three and four and two and two. Rest, 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 rest. 
from this cello, this is coming up closer to the frog. Okay, page turn, rest, two, three, four. Ready, two, three, one. 